Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jay Static. This is the Static Sessions. Today we're going to be talking about the piano roll section. So in the piano roll section, it's where you can draw in MIDI notes. If you have a MIDI keyboard, you start playing some stuff, you'll see it generate on the piano roll section. From there, you can quantize, you can uh, shift the notes as you need to, change octaves, you can do all that stuff virtually through the MIDI notes section or piano roll section. So we're going to be jumping into Ableton where I have the Electric 88 stereo keyboard loaded up. As I've got it loaded up, as you can hear. So for me, generally, I always play all my notes in here. So I'm just gonna hit record right now, quickly drop in a couple of chords, so you can see how it generates on the piano roll section. After that, I'll show you how you can draw in the notes in the piano roll section to make life a lot easier for yourself if you're not much of a keyboard person. So right away, hit uh, the metronome, drop down this tempo to something I can actually play, and then as this goes on, we can go. So if you noticed and you heard closely, there was a mess up when I hit it. So if I double click on this region right here, which is where all the MIDI notes actually live, you can see that I've played most of these notes properly. And But when it came to this one right here, it kind of broke up as my thumb hit. I got fat fingers, so my thumb hit this G note, but then it hit A and came back to G. So what we're gonna do is click on the note, get rid of it, click on the note, get rid of it, click on G and extend it out. And now we have a full out chord structure that you're happy with. Now, while you're looking at this, you can also see that, you know, this isn't lined up to this bar structure. This isn't lined up either. This is very simple to do. If you right click, you'll see all this quantize section. Very simply, I'm gonna get more into quantize a little bit later on, but to quickly fix it, if you're playing everything within that beat structure, which is 4-4, you can click on 1 fourth, highlight everything, go to your edit section, hit quantize, and boom, everything is quantized and on beat. Now, if you wanted to draw in your own notes because you don't know how to play um, keyboard, all you do is highlight a section for however many bars that you think you're going to want to draw in notes for. I've just highlighted one full bar. So right click, insert MIDI clip. As you double click on it, Simple enough, if I wanted to draw in, say, a C major chord, all I would do is double click, a note comes up, then I would double click again, and then I would double click again on where I think that C major chord is, and then as I highlight them, I can drag them out. And if you listen to this, this is now a C major chord, which I just drew in, and it's done. And if you wanted to drag that and duplicate it over, you literally can hold down the option button, drag it, and move it to the first bar of every chord, if, or every bar if you need to. And that's it, you're done. That is probably the easiest way to draw in notes. You can draw in single notes, you can do chords, you can do anything you wanna do within the MIDI, uh, sorry, within the piano roll section. It's just a matter of getting used to it. For me, I'm not much of a drawer in of notes. I like playing everything, and then I can go in and manipulate it as I need to. That being said, that's the end of the piano roll section. It's really easy. If you feel like this helped you out, please like, comment, subscribe. If you think there's more things you wanna to add to this, please comment, let me know. Uh, and I can go into further detail at a later point or make another video for you guys. Please subscribe and click that little bell for future video notifications. And from that point, we're gonna be moving on to the next video. Thank you.